Coach Rob here, the director of recruitment for Scholar Champion Athlete. And this is the role that recruitment databases should have in your personal recruitment journey. Now, I wanna be very clear on this. Recruitment databases can be very helpful, but I also think they can be very misleading. So recruitment databases, what they do, and these are the online services, whether it's NCSA, Be Recruited, could be Captain U, any number of these. There are many recruitment databases and services, and as a matter of fact, there's even more coming out, whether they're apps and so on, so on and so forth. Each of them does a very good job at a specific thing. And it, what it does is, it standardizes information and makes it much more clear to a high school athlete what they need to do in order to get recruited and then puts them in a place where some coaches can contact them. But more importantly, those links with that information, you can send that out to schools. So in general, recruitment databases allow you to create almost like an online resume, perhaps, for your recruitment journey. When you're trying to understand the value of a recruitment database, you have to know two major facts about the college recruitment process from the coach perspective. At the highest levels of college athletics, generally speaking, we're talking NCAA D1 here, not all schools, but particularly, again, the most competitive ones across each sport. Those programs typically have pretty substantial coaching staff as far as the amount of coaches they have, and the resources that they can use at their disposal to recruit. That means that they can go on all the databases because there's a lot of them. And they can find just about any athlete they want. But then here's a catch here. If you are a very high level program that's trying to win national championships, there's only a select group of athletes that you're really looking to recruit. That group of athletes that you're looking for you don't need databases to find them because they're at certain tournaments and they're at certain championship events. You can find those athletes without a database. You can just identify them, figure out how to contact them and move from there. Recruitment databases, all of these programs are most helpful for coaches that are not at that level. But now those are programs that don't have the same amount of resources. They don't have the same amount of coaches and coaches are real people with jobs. And yes, that job is coaching, but then they have lives. They have families. They might have children. They have so many other things going on. And recruitment is just one of the responsibilities that a college coach in that environment is going to take on. So it's not realistic for them to go to every service, every database, and try to figure out who are the best athletes to recruit and then go forward from there. Coaches know what they're looking for. If you are interested in them, and you think you might be a good fit, reach out. And if you are, then those coaches will reciprocate that back to you. That's typically how this goes. There's really no coach who's gonna be upset if a recruit who's a good fit for them reaches out directly. Recruitment databases and services, they can be a part of that, but I think for a lot of recruits, they mislead them so that they forget that that is still going to be the best bet at them finding that school that's really gonna meet them at whatever it was they were looking for in their college experience. Remember, you can win the college recruitment game, but to do it, you're gonna have to know the game.